Okay, so even though I won the predictions again, and I am still your TDAL heavyweight champion of the world, Nate cashed in his money in the bank. So I had to watch this thing, the Banana Splits movie, Tra La 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 Terror. The funny thing is, I I picked this at first. Because I heard you things about it. I watched some videos on YouTube and how it was bad. I was like, okay, may as well be for a, a good bad horror movie or something that's entertaining. But I couldn't find it. I couldn't find it at Target or Walmart right away. So I then picked up this thing, The Curse of Halloween Jack. And look at this thing. And then at Best Buy, I found this. So I bought it because that was the original thing. And I put up a poll on Twitter saying, which one of these would you rather me watch? And this one won. Not a, not a, by like one vote, I think. It wasn't a really big vote. So, the original plan is this thing. And, yeah, this is a movie that exists. I don't know why. Well, actually, I think I have a re like, I, I heard this, it's made by Warner Brothers. And originally, Warner Brothers had the rights to do a Five Nights at Freddy's movie. But then something happened and it fell through. So, I guess someone at Warner Brothers was really into this idea. They're like, well, wh what do we do? We still want to make this movie with the killer animatronics, but wh 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 what do we do? Oh, wait, we own Hanna-Barbera. They have creepy-looking puppet things. Let's make the banana splits into a horror movie where they're robots and go around killing people. Because reasons. I don't know. Uh... The thing about this movie is, like, there really is no reason for them to be fucking robots. Like, that irritates me more than anything. Like, there, there's no reason. It's never explained why they're robots. They're just robots. Like, in this world, the banana splits are still going on. Like, they started in 1969, and they're still going today. So I guess they're Doctor Who in this universe. Until, like, the, 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 the movie starts, and the kids, you know... It has, like, the little kid, Harley, who was a big fan of the NAS splits, and everyone makes fun of him. He's too old, and I don't care, because, you know, I'm a nearly 40-year-old man who fucking loves My Little Pony and Transformers. You're never too old for shit. But, like, it's really weird it's the banana splits. Like, I want to know in this universe how they lasted this long. Because this premise feels like it would have a finite life. And it did! <laughs> but, like, in 2019... Would would kids really be interested in the banana splits? Really? Anyway, so you know, his mom gives him tickets, they go to the show, and then it turns out this is like the last show ever because some dude got promoted to vice president of the network or programming and he just like, I hate the show, it's cancelled. Which is the most realistic thing in this fucking movie. That shit happens all the time and it's irritating. And so the banana Let's find out about this through Stevie, the guy who's dressed as a child in the show and hates them because he's fifth build and he's drunk. And he's like, ah, oh, this is the last show. Fuck all you. I hate you. And I guess that means time to murder. Like, there was a scene where Droopy, Drooper, was, like, malfunctioning and the crazy old scientist who built them, like, tried to update his programming or fix something and he plugs him into like there's a telephone booth with electronic shit in there and he like, plugs it in his neck and you see the lines of code and one is red ooh which is also the premise for the new child's play movie the reboot that's the fucking premise coder gets mad takes out all the safety features chucky kills so this movie stole that from somewhere else too and the new child's play movie is much better than this movie May mainly because the child's play movie embraces the weirdness of this and like I, there's a reason for Chucky to be a robot. I still don't know why these things are robots. And like I said, they, they established that, like... The sh <coughs> Sorry. They established that it starts in 1969. But they never established when the robots were made. Were, were they originally like, actors in suits, and then, like, they retired? Like, oh, we need something to do, we can't find one? Build robots! No! If they're always robots... Then these are the most advanced fucking robots ever, and this guy should be making a goddamn millionaire. 
He should, he should be a millionaire. He should be a billionaire. He should sell these things. They're fully autonomous robots. Like, even in 2019, this year, when the movie is set, that would be fucking amazing. But if he built them in 1969? What? And, like, the weird thing is, the movie, like, like, almost immediately tells you robots. Like, the first thing is, you know, like I said, he one gets the, the, the upgrade. But then, like, later on when they're murdering people, and then they're, the people are fighting back, like, bits of the costume being ripped off, like an arm or a uh, face, and you see the robotic parts, and they're like, oh my god, like, you knew they were robots, though! It doesn't seem like it's a big secret, because, like, the kids get separated, and, like, they get taken to the workshop, and, like, what is this? Like, oh, this must be where they were built. And, and by the way, that's how this fucking kid, I mean, the main kid, is terrible. <laughs> he is a terrible actor. You know, like, most of the people actually are all uh, terrible actors. The mom is a really good actor. There's an older brother, Austin, who looks like the kid from Hereditary, but, like, doesn't emote at all. Oh, excuse me again. And I think the idea is he's supposed to be, like, his his asshole stepdad calls him, like, a 19-year-old burnout, so maybe it's supposed to be he's just that burnout, but he's just like, this is great, isn't it, kid? Mom, calm down, they'll be okay. The shit like that! So, like, it's, it's not even an entertainingly bad movie. It's really conventional for the Banana Splits Are Murderous Robots movie. There aren't really many creative kills. There's one, they don't utilize the set that much, except for, like, one where they have, like, the magic trick of sawing someone in half, and they just cut this fucking influencer, like, Instagram guy in half, and his, his girlfriend freaks out, because he just proposed. You know, aside from being obnoxious, they weren't bad characters, but they have to, well, he had to die. She goes crazy, and, like, Dawn's part of the suit of what should have been the fifth banana split, who was going to be girl. She, like, takes the mask and the claw, because, of course, the claw is razor sharp and kills the inventor of the banana splits after he'd been captured. The kids capture him after they've freed. Uh, yeah, it's a whole thing. Like, I'm not going to go this point by point, if, if you can't tell. Like, you, you can look up other videos. I'm just giving my reactions and my thoughts of what the fuck this movie is. But it's it's... But yeah, so, so there's, there's a point where, like, there's a stage dad, and, like, he's trying to get his daughter to meet the producer so he, she can be a big star, and she's not really into it, and her accent keeps slipping. <laughs> Apparently this was filmed in South Africa, because I watched the credits. And, like, yeah, like, the girl's accent keeps slipping. Like, every so often you hear it. But, like, there's a point where he, like, breaks into the producer's office, the, the, the VP, the guy who canceled the show, and one of them was there, and he takes the guy's cigar and, like, aerosol sprays, and, like, the dude's head is on fire. Like, fucking Ghost Rider. And he lives. Like, like, he should have, like, died from shock, or I'm sure he inhaled fire. But no, he acts, and I was like, oh, well, he's dead. No, he comes back and lives through most of it until they're trying to do the obstacle course, and one of the Renan Splits jams a fucking key in his back and just throws him off the fucking stage. That kills him. But, like, he should have been dead from shock, smoke inhalation, the fact his head was on fire, and he took off his coat for some reason when he's on fire. Oh. Like, just, I know I keep heart in the fact they're robots, but that's a big deal. Like, there's, there really is no reason they need to be robots except this was a holdover from when it was supposed to be the Five Nights at Freddy movie. Like, it would have been better if they were guys in suits and, like, you know, you know they're guys in suits. They go, the kid and the family go, they, they watch the performance, but something seems just slightly off for all the banana splits. And, you know, then they, they, they go backstage to meet them. And, again, they're things just a little weird and... All the production people are like, hey, what's going on with these guys? You know, Jerry, what's up? You know, just give them fucking names. And like, they don't answer. They never take the costume off. They still do the creepy, like, be there at the end of a hallway thing. Because, like, a lot of the creepy things is comes from the fact that, like, they have the face, but they don't react to anything. They just stand there like robots. But have it like that. 
And then, like, then the murders start happening. Like, really slowly they start happening. Like, people just disappear and turn up. And then, like, halfway through you find, like, the actual actors that are supposed to be in the suits, like, dead. Like, mutilated somewhere. Like, oh my god! Well, who are these people? And you never find out who these people are. I don't want to, like, uh, I don't want to, like, a radio thing. Like, four crazy, uh, escape mental patients are on the loose. The authorities say, look out for them. No, you just... They're just guys who just appeared and decided, let's murder children. That would have been creepier, because you wouldn't know why they're doing it. It'd be like the original Halloween. You don't know why Michael's doing this, and that made it better. Be like that, instead of robots that may have been around for 50 years. Like, I was, they're given a history of the banana splits, like the tour guide, who, by the way, was named Paige the Page, which they thought was clever. I got a kick out of it because the first when she would do something crazy, I got to do. Paige, what are you doing? So I was amused by that. So, but yeah. I lost my train of thought. This movie is just like it's not even like a crazy bad movie. Like it really is more subdued. Like you can tell there's a budget because it has a lot of like walking down dark darkly lit corridors that's how you know when there's a a budget horror movie and they can't think of anything original because <sighs> there there have been low budget horror movies that have done amazing things this is not one of them this movie is just it's really surprisingly dull and when things do happen like there it's not creative enough and it's, it's a thing where like some people are killed that are assholes, and some people are like, you don't deserve to die. Why did that guy die? Like, all the adults in the audience get killed off screen. You just find piles of bodies, and they take the kids to the sub-basements so they can perform the show, because their routine is, the show must go on. That's why they killed people. The show was canceled. So... Yeah, this video is like 12 minutes. Uh, I probably could go into more detail on this thing. Like, point by point detail. But, it's not really worth it. <laughs> like, like I said, you can find other videos if you really want more in-depth look. This is just, this was my punishment. And it's a pretty good one. Fuck you, Nate. You should have taken this. But remember, you've cashed in. You lose again, you can't opt out. So, <laughs> see ya.